Good afternoon. This is Dr. Wayne Wooten and this is my student assistant Susanna Rogers who's going to be showing us how to work on the Mercury plot for Lab 5. Susanna has fixed the data sheet to show you how Mercury is changing from the left to the right as it goes east and west of the Sun. So I would make sure you understand what those E's and W's are. Every time you go to the next set of data your protractor is going to need to be on the opposite side of the Earth-Sun line because Mercury's gone to the other side of the Sun. Now let's take a look at our graph sheet. You'll notice it's in days and months and it doesn't have the year down there because this is the Earth's orbit along the ecliptic so every time we get back to point to January the 19th for them down at the bottom that's the first one we did for the example. Okay. Every January the 19th, we, the Earth, are right back here again. Now, we've done January the 19th, so go back up to your data sheet and mark through January 19th. That one has been done for you as the example. The next one, notice your data, is May the 1st. So on May the 1st, mark May the 1st, right here. Or March, you mean. March the 1st. Mar March the 1st. My mistake. March the 1st, right there. Yeah, put it right on the 1. No, not, that's the 10th 1st. Oh, sorry. Yeah, put an X. No, yeah, put it on the orbit. Yeah, you got to be on the orbit. Right here? No, here. The line is us. Now, draw in your line from the sun to the earth with your protractor for that day, March the 1st. Make it faint you're going to go back and erase it later. It's just an index marker. Notice your data. On March the 1st, Mercury lies 27 degrees to the right of the Earth-Sun line. So turn the paper to where you're facing the Sun on March the 1st, put the protractor to the right side of the Earth-Sun line, put your hole on the Earth. So every time you're going to put the hole on the earth and put your zero marker on the sun. We've got it. Now count over to the right 27 degrees. Okay, mark 27 degrees. Mm, right about there. Okay, put a mark there. And draw your line from the earth to Mercury for that day. Yes, there we go. Each of these marks will mark an edge of Mercury's orbit. Go back and erase your center line. We don't need it anymore. It's just there to long enough to do this. Okay, we'll do one more for you and let you take it from there. So let's take a look now. Mark through, March the 1st. And let's take a look at the one for May the 12th, which is 22 degrees to the left. So turn it around to face May the 12th. Right there. Yeah. And again, you're going to just have to make a guess about where the 12th is. Put an X on the 12th. All right. Then. All right, yeah. And again, every time you draw in your Earth Sun line for your zero marker, good deal. And this time we're going to the left. So leave the protractor where it is on the left side of the Earth Sun line. Put your hole on the Earth. Put your zero on the Sun. And we go 22 degrees. 22 degrees to the left. All right. Right about there, yeah. 22. Okay. Draw in your line. Well, we don't need to mark that, but draw no. in your line from the Earth. Well, you can, that's, that shows them what their 22 degree arc is. Draw your line from the Earth to Mercury for that day. Go back and erase your center line. And look, we don't even need to erase the bottom. Just erase the top and keep it clear. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Now, when you finish, you will come up with a very nice ellipse. It looks much like this. How are you going to find your perihelions and your aphelion distances? Notice the scale is given down here in fractions of an astronomical unit and the line where it is closest to the Earth and Sun is going to run right about here. So mark that point there from the Sun to the perihelion, Susanna. All right. Sun. Down here? Yeah, yeah. Run, run this way to perihelion. And let's label that P. And make this mark here because we're going to need to take it down. All right, now let's do the same thing on the opposite side 
for aphelion. Run aphelion over across. Yeah, you got it better than I do. There we go. Mark that aphelion. Okay. And let's mark it on the paper as well. So mark that one for the sun. Yeah. Well, just put a dart there. Yeah. All right. And here for aphelion. Just put a mark yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, mark there. All right. Right on the edge. All right now, let's translate it down here. Okay. And measure. You hold it right on the edge. So you'll notice our perihelion looks like it's about 0.3. I'll ask you to do a little better than that, but it's about 0.3. And then our aphelion, yeah, hold it, hold it right on the end there, is going to be about maybe 0.4546, somewhere there. So that's how you're going to get your perihelion and aphelion values. And then you go ahead with calculations from there. Okay, good luck, and call me if you need some help. Let's